Hi friends, welcome back to my studio. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about sketchbooks. So originally this video was just gonna be a start a sketchbook with me, like cozy, let's chill together and draw. Uh, but it ended up being kind of a half and half draw with me and half and half sketch tour. Um, a lot of the sketches that I've been keeping in the past few years have been across many sketchbooks and also just loose drawings in drawers. So I, I'm going to start the video with a voiceover kind of going over um, a little sketch tour, how I usually use sketchbooks and stuff. Um, and then the second half will be starting this book with me. So kind of like I mentioned, a lot of my sketching over the past few years has been done spread out across different sketchbooks and also just loose paper. Um, but when we're looking through, you know, stuff that I've done, I, a lot of what I have in here is concept art for paintings that I've done recently. Um, and I'll be like popping up, like you can see here, um, pictures of what the finished art looked like versus the sketch. Um, I have a lot of concept art for some of my characters in here and stuff that I've done for Patreon. And I even like have some commission sketches in here. Um, but you know it, it's a place where like i am able to kind of experiment with things that i want to paint or just subjects like the birds um which is going to come back again later i also like to do a lot of portrait sketches even though i don't paint a lot of portraits um this is a list of master studies that i want to do that you guys on instagram gave me suggestions of uh and then i just have you know thumbnails for like working out compositions that I want to get done um, and again back to loose stuff these are all just on printer paper like very flimsy um, like some of my like my most iconic chair buddy and he's just on a piece of printer paper um, we also have Howl from House Women Castle uh, but he's split in half very messy um, I should do better, uh, but you know, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, kind of, you know, I love, I love sketching portraits. I don't know why I don't paint them as much, um, but that, that comes up a lot um, in my sketch work. We also have some Borzoi from my very long Borzoi era in 2023. I even got one of those tattooed. Maybe I should post that later. Um, we have my cowboy cat. He's giving pink pony club. Um, and some of my sketches just look like this, which is like nothing, but that's okay. Sometimes it doesn't need to be really elaborate. You know, it just needs to be a guide. And then, yeah, some of my character designs, um, my little playgrads and my mods. We love them. So starting on the new sketchbook, uh, this is a Strathmore mixed media paper. It's really thick paper. I really like it. I'm a little disappointed that it has some marker bleed, um, but that's, that's okay. So to start off, um, I don't know, I'm kind of giving you like a behind the scenes of how I like to draw and paint. I can do a longer video about this too. But so generally I like to start off with big gestural lines um, and shapes to kind of establish the composition of what it is I'm working on. So I do that and then I take my phone. Uh, if you guys use like Procreate or something, you know, you can flip your canvas uh, to see if things look like they're being exaggerated to any one side since we're working traditionally. I just use my phone to do this uh, and it, it works really well. I, I absolutely recommend doing this to kind of keep an eye on what you're doing. Um, then I go in with a kneaded eraser, wipe away any debris, and go in with my Krayta color pencils, which are my favorite sketching pencils. Uh, and this is basically just like my line work layer. Am I gonna paint over this? Yes. <laughs> um, I think because I spent so many years um, drawing uh, before I became like a painter uh, later in high school that it just feels very natural to me to do guide drawings or, you know, base sketches to sort of guide my work and my practice. Um, and it, it works great. Uh, I'm going in here, I'm swatching my paints, and while I'm at it, you guys uh, should check out some of these artists whose goods and wares I am using uh, to get this project done. Uh, all of these people are so wonderful, so talented, um, and you should check out their stuff. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm using the Turner Acryla, Acryla Gouache gouaches um, and then I'm going in here I'm doing a wash 
Um, that's another thing that I could do an entire video about, you know, if I was talking about painting tutorials, I always do a wash on my canvas. Um, in this instance, since it's just a sketchbook, I did a general pink wash over the figure. Uh, and I'm going in here and I'm blocking out some of the main shapes with this very, very nice baby blue. I was honestly really impressed with how well these paints layered and how opaque they were. It was so satisfying. Um, and then here, since this is, you know, it's informal, it doesn't have to be any process, I'm just working on his little face. Um, I've been very obsessed with great blue herons recently. I've seen a lot of people painting them and I'm sure that it's in part due um, to the new Ghibli movie, or new-ish, that came out. Um, the Boy and the Heron. I have not seen it yet, oh, but I want to so, so bad. I have so much Ghibli fan art, so, you know, as soon as I see that, we can add it to the collection. And then I'm just going in here, doing some line work, adding some more brush work. Um, I don't know, I really enjoyed this process. Again, the paint's layered really well. Usually all of my work that y'all see is um, oil paint and I don't use a lot of water-based paint um, just because of how fast it dries. Um, it's just an entirely different skill set, um, but it's so fun. I did not realize this was gonna be so much fun. Um, yeah, also I hope that I'm like talking fast enough. I always see comments on like TikTok or like YouTube and people are like, you're talking fast enough that it satisfies my ADHD brain. So I hope, I hope that I can do that for you. Um, I just go in with some more texture, adding his little feathers to his little head. Um, I don't know, would that be his neck? his neck. Some teeny brush strokes. I love painterly work, which means so much of what I do um, is very brush stroke heavy. I'm super inspired by impressionism, post-impressionism. Um, and so, yeah, I love very brush heavy work. I got this very nice baby slimy green. Um, I thought it would, you know, kind of unify together the cool undertones of the blue. And then a little bit of pink I have going on there. So we have like a little bit of unity and contrast. It's very satisfying. It also reminds me of like the Sour Patch Kids um, watermelon gummies. I think it's perfect. Um, and then I go in with some flowers, bring some of that blue into the background um and add some stars everything that i paint or draw has stars and sparkles it brings together the piece if you don't know how to bring together a piece of art have you considered adding a star um and now that my workspace is completely messy and wonderfully ruined i go i add some washi tape and finish it off with some dinky little silly fish and i think that he looks great he's absolutely beautiful stunning show-stopping um an icon truly uh but so i originally didn't even know what i was gonna do with the other side, uh, but I was looking through some old sketchbooks that I had um, when I was in my early 20s, um, and I forgot how much I enjoyed, and maybe a little bit how to enjoy, um, being more expressive and messy and crafty <laughs> with my sketchbook. Um, so I stole one of my own drawings from that sketchbook. I went in with some marker, did some Mod Podge image transfers, got some stickers, got one of my own stickers, um, and, you know, made this a wonderful space of texture and color and things that bring me joy and made me feel inspired in the moment. I wasn't trying to make it perfect. Um, I did a little master study here just of a print I had hanging up in my room and I loved it. And I did make my space a mess again, <laughs> um, but it brought me a lot of joy. And I think that's what matters the most. I also managed somehow, even though I haven't decorated my sketchbook yet, to get paint all over the sketchbook. Um, don't know how that happened. That always happens to me. And with that all said and done, I didn't really realize how much I missed having a sketchbook as part of my like regular art practice. You can see behind me, I've actually left the you know easel makeshift table up the past few days. Um, because I've actually been, you know, going back into here and I've already filled out a couple more pages. Uh, I wish I wasn't expecting. Who knows? Uh, maybe we're just gonna have another sketchbook tour, like a full book tour by the end of summer, if I keep it up. I don't know.
But if there's anything I could say um, about, I don't know, how to keep your sketchbook, um, it's do whatever you want. I think that sketchbooks and places like that are meant to be, you know, areas where you're allowed to make bad, bad, end quote, bad, ugly, messy, experimental, weird, Art. It's a place where you don't have to perform um, and I think that's a really healthy space to have not just for your art But also for you as a person a, a space where you're allowed to be Genuine and make mistakes and not feel like you have to meet some sort of performance goal But yeah, um, I had a lot of fun and thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you next time Bye bye